In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the stretch options in MixBus 32C version 8. Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and did you know you can actually change the way audio stretches on the cue page with these stretch options? So let me show you how it's done. So I have a few different clips here, ranging from drums to bass to guitar and also percussion. And each one is going to respond a little differently when you stretch the audio. So I'm going to click on this first slot. You can see down here it has defined a BPM and also how many beats it is in length. And that's also a way to change your clip lengths if you want to change it from 8 beats to maybe 24 beats or whatever the song calls for. So just to demonstrate that, let's listen to this clip. Okay, and that's where it repeated. But now we're gonna make it eight beats long. And you can also see it change the BPM to 90 instead of 180. That's actually kind of cool. Let's listen to this whole row with that change. That sounded really great, but you don't even have to change the clip length to make things faster. We have these buttons right here that you can do half time or you can do double time. So if I change this back to 16 beats, I can use this button here to half the tempo for that clip. And now you see it's 90 beats per minute and it's set to eight beats. So let's hear that real fast. Cool, and it's the same as if I would just change the clip length. Now let's double the time, which actually makes it slower. Now there's three different stretch modes that we can choose depending on the type of material that we're working with. For any kind of drum or percussive clip, we want to choose crisp, and this prioritizes the timing and crispness of the drum transients, but might cause interruptions in a sustained note. So that's why for this dance hall, multivox, shaker loop, all these are going to be set to crisp. So here's the shaker in its current setting. But here it is doubled. And here it is set to the smooth setting, which is really not the kind of mode you want this to be in. Whenever you do any kind of stretching, there could be artifacts in the audio. So these three modes help you choose the best option for your clip. And now the next mode is called mixed. And this is a compromise setting for loops that have both transients and sustained notes. And I'm going to choose this for my bass, for example, because it has a nice sharp attack, but it has a long sustained bass note. So since I have this bass copied between three different rows, I'm going to set the first one to crisp, the second one to mixed, and then the third one to smooth. And I'm going to flip back and forth between them so we can hear the difference. Cool. So I think the smooth and the mixed was a better option for the bass. It definitely made the effects that I've recorded with this bass part come out a little bit more and the crisp seemed to cut off some of those transients. The smooth mode prioritizes the smoothness of the sustained notes, but it does this at the expense of blurring or phasing of drum transients. So definitely only use this for maybe long piano chords or any kind of guitar or bass instruments but definitely not for percussion. Okay, moving on, we can actually use these stretch options to help push along the arrangement of our song. For instance, we might want the verse section 
to have a certain feel, and then it changes that feel when it gets to the chorus. So keeping everything the same, we're gonna listen to row A, and then switch over to row B, and hear what that difference is. Hey guys, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like, a subscribe, and a click the bell down below. And as always, leave a comment, let me know how you would use these stretch options in your next production. Until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.